This is Brian with King Grizzly. Today I want to show you one of my favorite web design tips and it's how to create a seamlessly repeating background image similar to this marble texture we have here. Today I want to show you one of my favorite tricks for a website, uh, building a seamlessly repeating background image. Uh, why would we want to do that in the first place, right? So for example, if I have this nice looking background texture, say marble, wouldn't I just want to set that as the background image? Well, maybe not, and maybe for two reasons. One, um, file size, right? Like the original size of this image is very large. It would take a long time to load. I could size it down, um, but then it won't repeat nicely. So if I drop that image in here, and I try to repeat it, the left side and the right side of this marble texture, they're not gonna match up. So people would actually see where the edge of this is. So I wanna build something that is smaller in file size, um, but also is seamless and I can repeat it. So we're gonna use Photoshop for that. You wanna open up Photoshop and make a new uh, file that is a perfect square. I'm gonna do 500 by 500 pixels you can do what you want, you know, 1,000 by 1,000, 250 by 250. You could probably even make something quite small, like 10 pixels by 10 pixels, depending on the pattern, right? The smaller it gets, um, it could it could look kind of wacky, depending on what you're doing. Um, so you'll have to find the right balance for the pattern you're using. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that marble texture in here and size it up. And in Photoshop, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to right-click over here, and I'm going to rasterize this. We don't need a smart object for this. So I rasterize it, and then I'm going to get my crop tool, and I want to crop it down. So I don't want any extra photo off the side, and you want to make sure that the delete crop pixels is turned on. We actually want this to be a perfect square. Okay, it should be cropped. What we need to do now is sort of flip the thing in on itself, and we're going to use the cloning tool to get rid of hard edges. So I'll show you how to do this. You go to filter, and then other, and offset, and you want to function values that are half of your size. So if it's if you're using 500 like me, then I'm going to put in 250 and 250 for horizontal and vertical. If you were using 1,000, you would do 500 and 500. And you want to make sure you choose wrap around, and you can preview if it's going to work or not, right? So, okay. So now what you see here is we've got our, our image offset, and you can see these hard edges. What we're going to do is we're going to clone them off, and then we're going to flip it back. And then we'll, we'll, we should have a seamless pattern. So I'm going to grab the clone stamp tool. And I can use my left and right brackets to change the size. Um, there's also at the top here, you can choose your, you know, your brush size. I like to choose something with kind of a soft edge. You can set an opacity. And you know, maybe I'll boost mine up a little bit. But basically what I want to start doing is I'm going to zoom in here. I want to get rid, oops, I want to zoom in and then get rid of those edges. So I'm going to get that tool. I use Option on the Mac. I can't remember what it is on PC. It's like it's Controller, all one of the two. Uh, but what you do is you define a source that you want to copy. So maybe I want this sort of white pattern. I'm going to click. And then it, what it's doing is it's using the source area. And so then I can start just, just painting with my left click. And what I'm going to try to do is do my best to start cleaning up these edges, right? And you kind of have to use your discretion. I'm gonna probably use a little more white. So you got some areas here that'll be a little tricky because the, the lines don't match up. I'm gonna try to, I think I'm gonna try to just soften some of those up, right? So I've almost gotten rid of that line. Maybe I wanna bring some of this darker gray texture up here a bit. Maybe I'll grab a little white kind of get rid of that. So I'm just going to go through here and spend a few minutes trying to get mine to lose those hard edges. Okay, so I've done I think I'm pretty happy. Maybe maybe I'll grab a couple of these marble textures and splash them around but anyway, so good enough for the demo. So what that, that I need to do is go back to the filter and do the exact same offset again. And we're going to reset it essentially. So now it has our changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this out as like a JPEG uh, and then we'll try dropping it in as a repeating pattern and we'll see how it does. So I'm doing the, the save for web 
and I can choose my quality. I'm cool with whatever, you know, 60 quality J JPEG, that's fine. So I'm gonna save it. Okay, so that's saved. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm using the Elementor page builder in WordPress, but you can, you know, you can do this with whatever you're using. So I'm clicking on my section and I want to go and change the background. So I need to go choose an image, insert that. And what do we see? Okay, it appears to work right out of the gate. So I can show you how this is working. So if I turn off repeat, no repeat, that's what it would look like. I could set it to say cover, right? but by default, this was repeating. And I could say repeat X or repeat Y. I want it to repeat you know, X and Y. And as you can see, it, you know, it's, it's pretty convincing. So your mileage will vary depending on how good of a job you did. Um, you could get creative. I, I took a picture of my wall. <laughs> I figure I could turn that into a texture. I took a picture of our gross carpet. I could turn that into a texture. I also have the ability to do something like, say, drop a background overlay on here, and, and at least in elementary. So I might, I might choose a color like white and then just give it a subtle opacity just to control how strong that marble texture is or isn't. That, you know, that's, that's pretty nice there. Um, or, you know, I could, maybe I want to, want to tint the marble a little bit. You know, I could use a blue and play with that. Or maybe, you know, play with a blend mode like a multiply or a screen and just see, you know, what kind of effects can I get? That's, you know, that's kind of cool. My site uses a green, so maybe I'd, I'd want to play with that. I think that looks horrible, but you get the idea. Anyway, you can build uh, repeating seamless textures that way using Photoshop. It's really fun. And I guess the sky's kind of the limit, plus your load time improves. So hopefully that's useful to some people. Please consider subscribing for more WordPress and Elementor tips and just web design tips in general. Thanks.